Do I look like a 50s pinup girl or a housewife? Hello. So I probably, I've been back on, from vacation for a while, but I'm too lazy. Well, not a while. I came back Saturday. Today is Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Um, so yeah, it was fun. We went to Myrtle Beach. So we drove down to save money. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you this, my saga of how I got to Myrtle Beach. So we drove down because it was three of us. It was me and my parents. So we figured it'd be cheaper to drive instead of fly. So we decided to split it up into two days. So we drove down and then stayed in Virginia at some hotel. So it was like 11 and I fall asleep before my parents for some reason. And I have like the most like solid 30 minutes of sleep ever. And then I woke up like ready to go. I was, I thought it was like 10 o'clock in the morning. That's how awake I was. And then, so then my parents fall asleep and I'm just like laying there. And my dad starts snoring and it's so loud. Like I couldn't even hear myself think anymore. That's how loud it was. It's not his fault, but I usually don't have to sleep in the same room as him. So I'm just laying there, like, for probably three and a half to four hours, just straight laying there. And then I finally fall asleep sometime between, like, two and three in another, like, deep, deep sleep. And all of a sudden I hear, like, my mom, like, whimpering and, like, crying. Well, not, like, crying, but, like, crying out in her sleep. And she was, like, having a nightmare, and she was, like, crying. And it woke me out of the deepest sleep. And I was like, what is going on? Uh, so then, obviously, I was awake because my mom just, like, scared the crap out of me. So I'm just laying there, and all of a sudden, at 3.30 in the morning, my mom's phone rings. And I was like, oh, God, that can't be good. So it ends up being my brother because that's when he has to get up to go to work. And apparently he, like, locked his keys in our house, so he called to, like, ask what to do, if there was any way he could get in. So he ended up having to break the window in my basement, which was, a, like, a fiasco, because it's, like, the thickest, like, pane window ever, because it's an outside door. So he, like, cut up his hand trying to get in. It was awful. But so we were all up at, like three something, three thirty or four in the morning and we couldn't fall back asleep. So we just like decided to start driving again. And so we're like on the road and I have like a half hour or an hour of sleep in me and we're driving. It was like all these 18 wheelers on the road because it's not normal daylight. Oh my God. It was ridiculous. I finally made it to Myrtle Beach. This headband is really tight. So we made it to Myrtle Beach Friday, I think, and we just, like, hung out by the ocean, and it was gorgeous, because, like, the sun, oh, text message, um, the sun rises in the east, <laughs> if you didn't know, um, which is not their coastline, or it is their coastline, I mean, so... It will, the sun will rise over the ocean, but it sets on the other side. And I never woke up to see it rise over the ocean. But so when it would set on the other side, it would make like the beach look like all purple, which was awesome. And it's really pretty, as you can see. And then, um, yeah, so the purple against. Like, and there was still waves. Like, there was a lot of, like, crashing waves, which I was surprised about. So the wave, like, tide crest part, I don't know anything about the ocean, was, like, white. So it was, like, gorgeous. And I took, like, a little clip because I thought it was really relaxing.
Yeah, so it was, like, really pretty. And then that's mainly... Actually, I didn't really go to the beach that much. I went a couple of days. I got, like, a little tan, like, the first couple of days we were there. And now I'm just, like, back to how I was. Because um, I don't want skin cancer. And, um, but my aunt came, which I don't know if I told you she was coming. So, yeah, she flew from Miami to Myrtle Beach, which is really close. I didn't realize how, like, southern Myrtle Beach was. It's like Myrtle Beach, Georgia, Florida, which I had no idea, but I guess it makes sense because it took a while to drive there. Um, oh yeah, driving there. I don't know if that was a clip of, or the clip I'm thinking of showing you. Um, driving there or driving back? Anyway, so, uh, my dad let me put on the music that I wanted for like 20 minutes while he was driving. And he, he was dancing and watch this clip. It's so funny. <laughs> now you see where I get my dance moves from. He just like moves his shoulders like. But he's like going to the beat, which was really funny. Um, and I'll probably be so embarrassed that I am putting this in the video, but he'll never watch it, so whatever. But yeah, so we went, I don't want to make this video too long, because you're just going to be sitting there like, okay, come on. But yeah, so my aunt came, and it was really fun to see her, and like, it was really nice that she came. And then, what else did we do while we were there? I did a lot of shopping, a lot, like a little too much. That's mainly all we did. Because my dad went golfing most of the time. That's why we went down there. Because, like, Myrtle Beach is known for their golfing. And his, one of my dad's friends has a condo. Or a house, actually. A house. So they plan to go the same week. And then they go golfing together. And then my mom and I just spend the day shopping while my dad plays golf. Um, oh, my gosh. One night we went to a show of, like, impersonators. So it was called, like, Legends. And I it was so embarrassing well I mean people were like so into it it was like a group of like a hundred like the audience was like a hundred people who were all except me and like two ten-year-olds they were all over the age of like 45 and they were like acting like it was like some rock concert and there was these ladies like waving their hands and they were like oh wow and I was like, oh my gosh, if this is re like retirement or like getting older looks like, like count me out, please. But it was fun. And like the people were actually pretty good. And my mom got a picture with Steven Tyler, which here you can see looks. I, I mean, like in that picture, he doesn't look like him. You can tell that it's not him. But on stage, he was pretty good. So my mom was like eating that up. She loved it. Then there was Stevie Wonder, who had to pretend he was blind. I was, like, mortified. It was so weird. Stevie Wonder, Dolly Parton, which was weird. She had a good voice, but I didn't really like it. Britney Spears, which was the only one that I enjoyed. Because, like, that was our time. Like, growing up, that's all I listened to was Britney Spears. So she was pretty good, and she really looked like her. It was weird. Um... What did I say? Stevie Wonder, Dolly Parton, Britney Spears, Steven Tyler. Oh, and Elvis. Oh, it was so weird. He was like some middle-aged, like, sweaty man with, like, hair on his chest. Oh, it was weird. Um, I think that's all of them. I could be missing somebody who obviously wasn't that good. Um, but, yeah, so that's one of the main things we did while we were down there besides shopping. And it was fun. Next, we have VidCon in, like the end of this month, which is ridiculous. So, and then your birthday's next week, but we'll save our money and celebrate when we get to VidCon. All right, bye.